Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to before we here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this story, we'll be going ahead and building the M22 Locust. The M22 is an American-designed airborne light tank which was produced during World War II. The Locust began development in 1941 after the British War Office requested that the American government design a purpose-built airborne light tank which could be transported by glider into battle to support British airborne forces. The War Office had originally selected the light tank mark 7 Tetrarch light tank for use by airborne forces, but it had not been designed with that exact purpose in mind, so the War Office believed that a purpose-built tank would be required to replace it. The United States Ordnance Department was asked to produce this replacement, which in turn selected Mar Marmon uh, Harrington to design and build a prototype airborne tank in May 1941. The prototype was designated the Light Tank T9 Airborne, and it was designed so that it could be transported underneath the Douglas C-54 Scabmaster transport aircraft, although its dimensions would allow it to fit inside a general aircraft uh, Hamilcar glider. The uh, tank itself uh, saw various different upgrades and uh, different uh, different uh, basically designs and stuff like that through its development. However, when it was ready, it was already in the late 1943s and early 1944s, and by then the design was considered to be obsolete. Only 830 were built by the time production ended in February 1954. As a result, the Ordnance Department gave the tank the specification number M22, but no combat units were ever equipped with it. However, the War Office believed that the tank would perform adequately despite its faults, so the tank was given the title of Locust, and 260 were shipped to Great Britain under the lend -Lease Act. 17 Locusts were received by the 6th Airborne Armored Reconnaissance Regiment in the late 1943, but mechanical problems led to the tanks being withdrawn in favor of the Tetrarch previously used by the regiment. So the tank really didn't see... Uh, much service. Uh, it saw some some uh, action here and there, but for the most part the tank was found to be very obsolete and uh, did not really perform to its full purpose. Um, it's a very interesting tank, a very small, nimble uh, little thing that houses a surprisingly a 37mm gun, which is pretty impressive for a tank of its size. Um, overall, it's a pretty interesting little tank and I think it'll be a great addition to um, any of your uh, maps where you're trying to put some airborne troopers or some kind of behind enemy lines type things where uh, this theoretically could have been a pretty decent tank. Um, so overall, cool stuff here, and let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the design we have here. So, starting off with, obviously, it's a really small looking tank. Uh, the Locust, by no means, was a big tank at all. Uh, as you can see here, we have the turret, which houses the main 37mm uh, gun. And... That's kind of the main thing about this. Uh, it's really small. As you can see, the tank itself only sits three blocks tall. And uh, that's pretty good detail. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of detail I was able to cram into this thing despite it being so small. Uh, but I think it's going to be an interesting build and will be uh, a fun little uh, tank to have in maybe some of your uh, maps. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers, layers 0 and 1. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layers 0 and 1. For layers 0 and 1, to get started with here, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab, followed by a narrow brick top slab coming off of it like so. We then want to go ahead and break the blocks in the ground, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And right there is going to create our bottom here of the tracks. We're going to go ahead and then place down a set of 2 grindstones, basically build off of each other like so, and then a narrow set of 2, just like that. On the side here, the outside of the tank, we're going to place down four item frames, green terracotta blocks in each of those item frames, and a dark liquid sign over the last grindstone right here. We're going to go and then place down a green shulker box on its side like this, followed by a dark liquid button, an item frame, and a cobweb in the item frame. We then want to place down a narrow brick up sound stair like that after it. When that's done there, we're going to place down a row of two dark liquid top subs come off this narrow brick stair, and on the back here, we're going to go and place down a uh, spruce wood top slab, come out the shulker box, and then two dark wood top slabs on the side here. And this is actually going to be a row of three dark wood top slabs in the front, so my bad. We then want to go ahead and place down a nerve brick top slab, nerve brick slab, and again, just going to be on the right side here, four blocks on the ground switch to nerve brick. And then a green shulker box on the side, dark wood button, item frame, and a cobweb in the item frame, like so. And then come off the shulker box, we're going to place down a Never pick up sound stair. Again, for our tracks here, we're going to place down two grindstones here facing each other like so. 
just like that. And then on the sides here again, four item frames. Green terracotta box in those item frames, and then a darker sign on the side here of this last grindstone like that. And then for the middle space here, we can go and just take dark liquid slabs and fill the whole space in like this to close off the bottom of the tank. That right there is going to do it for layers 0 and 1. Let's go ahead and move into layer 2. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a daylight detector on top of these two narrow brick slabs. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark liquid slab over here on the right side. And over from the dark liquid slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 daylight detectors. When we have that done, we're going to go to the daylight detectors here on the sides. We're going to place down a item frame and then a snowball in the item frame followed by a dark open fence gate. And we're going to have the fence gate opened up toward the daylight detectors. We also want to go ahead and go to the middle space here and place down a dark open trap door, which we're going to make sure is closed like so. Over here on the left side of the tank, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two smooth sandstone blocks. And we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of birchwood signs along the side there. On the second birchwood slab here, or sorry, sandstone slab, we're going to place down an item frame and then a green terracotta block in the item frame. We then want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood uh, upside down stair in this space right here. And then we want to go ahead and place down one and two dark oakwood stairs over and then a dark oakwood corner stair here on the edge. Now on the side of the stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oakwood sign, an item frame, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of green terracotta across the middle here, followed by a second row of three. And then on both sides here, we're going to place down dark oakwood stairs. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab our looms. We're going to place down a row of three of looms across the back here, followed by a dark oakwood stair on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame, green terracotta block in the item frame, and a dark oakwood sign on the face of the stair. And same thing over here as well. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta. Uh, we're going to place down a row of two, starting on the left side here, across those looms. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a spruce wood plank in this spot right here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oakwood slab to both sides. And then a daylight detector on top of that narrow brick upside stair. Coming off the daylight detectors, we're going to place down a dark oakwood sign to both sides, or both sides, an item frame. Coming off those detectors and then a red stained glass block in those item frames just like that. Then on the back here we're going to take our darker wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of three, or sorry row of two, and then a darker wood top slab just like that. And after that's all done there that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number two. And uh, with that we'll go ahead and move into our uh, final layers here which will be layers three, four, five, six, and seven. So with that let's go ahead and move into layers three through seven. Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 3 through 7. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on top of this stair. And then come off of it, going forward, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3, and rods like that for your main gun. We're going to go then place down a green terracotta block back from it, followed by a dark liquid stair to both sides here. And come off the front here of the stairs and also the sides, we're going to go and place down dark liquid signs, like so. We then want to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row 3 of green terracotta back followed by a dark oak grid up down stair to both sides and a zombie head on both sides of that stair. We're going to go and then take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down one and two on those two green terracotta blocks and then a birch wood trap door on top of the spruce wood plank there and then a row of three of green carpet on top of the dark oak wood top seven upside down stairs here on the back. For the top of the turret here we're going to go and place down a dark oak grid fence post on top of this left zombie head and then one, two, and three. Iron bars going up like that for the radio antenna. We're going to go ahead and then place down a red stone repeater on top of the snare break up sounds, or the dark oakwood up sounds stair, a dark oakwood trapdoor in front of it, a spruce wood trapdoor to both sides, and then a item frame on top of this green terracotta block with a green terracotta block in the item frame. And with that, that is going to wrap up my design here for the M22 Locus. Uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this design, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a silo build, so you can check out where this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for every project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, again, thank you guys all so much for watching the video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.